Hello, welcome to everyone in this video. In the digital electronic series, this is lecture number four. Uh, today, I want to discuss about the digital circuit of this part that is X or X not gate application and the parity checker. Uh, circuit representation of gates, <coughs> both usual and IEEE symbol, and etc. etc. You can see the total syllabus of six semester BSc physics on earth of University of Calcutta. In lecture number one, we already discussed this portion that is the this is done in lecture one. This portion number system done in lecture two. In lecture three, we discuss about the up to that is that's one. Okay. Then and and get and this one discuss in the last lecture in lecture number three. And this is the lecture number four. In this uh, lecture, we want to cover up this portion. Okay. And upcoming session we will be continue this syllabus. Okay. So I think clear of the root map. So let's start first <coughs> portion that is say XOR and X NOR. It is called exclusive OR gate and exclusive NOR gate and as a application of priority checker. What are exclusive OR gate? That is represented our circuit symbol is like that. This is the a b bar plus a bar b and this is uh, boolean algebra symbol is like that. <coughs> <coughs> X or B, sorry, it's a uh, truth table will be like that. That is the input a, a, a B is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. And if you put this value of 0, 0, you can see this is 0 and this is 0 bar that is 1. 0 into 1 is 0. Again, 0 bar is 1 and this is 0, so this is also 0. So you will be get 0. But when 0, 1 that is 0 and this is 1 bar that is total 0, but 0 bar is 1 and this is 1, so this becomes 1. So 0 plus 1 is 1. So if similarly this one also 1 and for 1 1 this 1 bar is 0 and this is 1 bar 0 so this becomes 0. So this is the XOR gate to change. XOR gate is the not of the XOR. If you not this one you will be get this one and this denoted as A bar B. So this is nothing but the uh, AB plus A bar <laughs> B bar. So if you put this value of A and B within this one uh, you can see this a b plus a bar b so this gives you uh, you can see 0 0 so this is 0 0 and this is 0 bar 0 bar that is 1 so this is the not of xor you can see so this is xor gate and x not gate and with stress table and this two are circuit symbol you can say there is a bubble in the not circuit similarly you can see that is the uh, parity what do you mean by parity checker uh, xor and x not gate as a parity checker Parity, what do you mean by parity? Parity is the number of high or low bits. High means 1 and low means 0. Number of low <coughs> and high bits is known as the parity. There are two types of parity, even parity and odd parity. Even parity is the total number of 1 in the code. This is uh, any 4 bit code. You can take uh, 16 bit, 8 bit, etc. Et so, number of 1 in this code, including the parity bits, should be even. What do you mean by parity even? when the number of 1 in the code and 1 in the parity total number of 1 in the parity with the uh, code is known as the even parity for example 1100 1, 0, 0, you can see there is 2 1 that is the even parity is 0 and 1011 1, 1, there is 3 so you need to even parity is 1 so such that total number of 1 will be <coughs> even so this is the even parity Clear. Similarly, odd parity number of 1 in the code including the parity bit should be odd. So, number of 1 in the code must be even. In the even parity, number of code in 1 must be odd. Then, this will be the 1. <coughs> Clear. So, the odd parity is for this 1 and this odd parity is 0 because total number of 1 in this code with the parity must be odd. I think clear about the two basic parity things, even parity and odd parity. Next thing is the parity generator. What, is, uh, what do you mean by parity generator? That means how we can generate the parity. For example, this is 1100. This is the bit. Its parity is 0. And this is 101. Its parity is 1. Even parity is 1. So we need to generate this parity bit. Okay. By this <coughs> XOR and X0 circuit. Example. 
we take the <coughs> same example here 1100 1, okay so four input 1100 1, 1, 1 xor is 0 you can check the tooth table 1 1 xor is 0 okay so remember this check so 1 1 this is 0 and 0 0 this is 0 0 0 this is 0 so you can see 1 1 0 0 even parent is 0 1 1 0 0 even parent is 0 for next example 1 1 uh, 1 0 1 1 even parent is 1 so 1 0 1 1 <coughs> sorry 1 0 output 1 and this one this one gives 0 and this one and this 0 gives 1 so we obtain this result okay so this xor gate generate the parity so this is the parity generator circuit next is odd parity generator circuit in the last you must replace the x not gate in last you must replace the x not get then uh, odd parity generator will be obtained right there is four bit and in the uh, okay this is x not get there is error x or get x or get clear similarly <coughs> in the odd parity last one must be x not get this is x or get and this is x not get x not get this is x or get uh, x or get this is also x or get so these are x not get okay <coughs> so in the last there is x not get for odd parity generator you can see here 1100 0, 0, same example this 11 1 gives you 0 this 0, 0 gives you 0 and this 0, 0 gives you 1 so you can see there is odd parity is 1 and this for 0. Same thing 1 0 is 1, 1 1 0, 0 1, 1 that's complement is 0. So by this circuit you can generate the parity. Now the parity checker, how this circuit gives the check the parity. In the parity checker, the output must be 0. In parity checker, if output must uh, output is zero, in <coughs> parity checker, uh, it output is zero, then the parity and the bits are. <laughs> valid okay output is zero then parity is fit with this bit for example in the five uh, first example this one one zero zero and parity is zero so first one is the parity and these are four bit so zero one gives you one this one one gives you zero this zero zero gives you zero this zero zero gives you zero so output zero for next one that is the one zero one one parity is one so parity and then one zero one one this one one zero this zero 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 one 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 zero parity again uh, in the parity checker output must be zero okay next thing is uh, for this one one zero zero and parity is one so this parity and this is one one zero zero one one gives you zero zero one gives you one one zero gives you one one zero gives you zero but there is a not so one there is a not so this is zero again the output is zero similarly that one okay so this gives you the check of the <coughs> parity so these are valid if there is not zero in that case so these bits and parity is not fit or not the same okay next uh, topic is the circuit representation of gates both usual and i triple e symbol <coughs> <coughs> sorry you know uh, there is already discussed AND gate, OR gate, NOT gate, NAND gate, NOR gate and there is XOR gate and XNOR gate right and th this is the usual symbol we already discussed this is AND gate, this is OR gate, NOT gate and AND gate, NOR gate and this is XOR gate and this is XNOR gate but the IEEE that is the Institute of Electrical and Ele Electronic Engineering symbol or you can know ANSI American National Standard Institution they symbolize this uh, gate with that one this is and 
this is or this is not this is nand this is not x nor and x xor and x nor these are two symbol available in this <coughs> institution okay Next thing is the introduction in different logic like DTL, TTL, MOS, COS. Actually, logic family are broadly classified into two parts. That is binary logic family and the unipolar logic family. Sorry, bipolar logic family and the unipolar logic family. Bipolar means the current flow through two types of carrier that is the electron as well as hole. When two types of electron, electron uh, two types of carrier that is electron and hole carries the current within this circuit is known as the bipolar logic family and unipolar logic family there is only electron or the hole carries the current you know for example uh, bjt bipolar junction transistor is a bipolar logic family fet field effect transistor is the unipolar logic family we you already know about the bjt and fet right there was a common question why FET known as unipolar and BJT known as bipolar. This is a common question you already <coughs> learned in previous semester. This bipolar logic family then classified into saturated and unsaturated region. You know that is in <coughs> transistor uh, you have a three region saturation active and the cutoff region right. There is if, if you if you remember the output characteristics like that in the transistor you know this is the saturation region this is cut off and this is the active in this region if <coughs> this operate this is called saturated and if not in the saturation region <coughs> this is called unsaturated okay <coughs> this saturated bipolar logic family have RTL, DCTL, IIL or is known also I square L, DTL, HTL, TTL and unsaturated shortcut TTL, ECL and unipolar transistor PMOS that is P-type metal oxide semiconductor, MOS means metal oxide semiconductor, NMOS means N-type metal oxide semiconductor and complement metal oxide semiconductor. In this syllabus you can see this is DTL, TTL and MOS and CMOS are in the or syllabus portion. Okay. Full form written here that is RTL means register transistor logic. RTL register transistor logic. DCT direct couple transistor logic. IIL integrated injection logic. DTL diode transistor logic. HTL high threshold logic. TTL transistor transistor logic. ECL that is here emitter coupled logic and CMOS that is complement metal oxide semiconductor. These are the full form written here. So we will be discuss this our syllabus portion. For that you need to know about the basic that is the register transistor logic. What are register transistor logic? That means there is must be a register and there must be a transistor within the logic circuit. Right? For example, not gate. You know this <coughs> the sim, uh, circuit symbol of a <coughs> circuit arrangement of a not gate. This is a transistor, NPN transistor. This is uh, collector resistance. This is base resistance. And this is output. When if you apply this is a, this is zero, that is low voltage. Then this is a cut off. So current cannot flow to the transistor. Current flow to this voltmeter will get the output voltage. That's why output one. When this is one, this is in the uh, active region. The current flow through the transistor. No current flow through this voltmeter. So this output voltage will be zero. So this is a not gate. It's a register transistor logic example. Another example is the not get two transistor connected in this way when <coughs> take this condition a0 and b0 if these two are zero that is q1 and q2 are cut off because there is no <coughs> pathway so must be current flow to that one in the other cases when 0 1 if any one is one then what happened this is active then current flow to this one for example one zero condition this is one so this is active so current flow this one so we did not output here that's why three is three are zero and you know <coughs> this is the out <coughs> sorry 
this is the output output table of this NOR gate this is the Y you write here this is output Y this is the output of NOR gate so <coughs> this is the register transistor logic NOR gate There are some disadvantages that is the low noise margin, uh, lower speed, high power dissipation, etc. We can reduce this noise by replace this resistor with the diode. You can see this is the circuit here. The, these are the inputs. If you 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 can apply more than two or uh, uh, two input here. <coughs> uh, these two are diode. These two diode actually this diode transistor logic. Uh, and this is a resistance like this is the circuit of the diode transistor logic if you see that is a and b both are zero this both are zero means this is a forward bias this diode da and db are the forward bias but this is a reverse bias so no current flow through this rc <coughs> sorry uh, this is uh, current flow through the rcs and the voltmeter because this is a off condition these are the off condition because <coughs> this is reverse wire right so the transistor is off condition so current flow through this voltmeter will be obtained the output here next condition when uh, a is zero a is zero means this is forward bias again this is in if anyone is forward bias here, if anyone is forward bias here, that means anyone is zero here, what happens? These are the reverse bias, this is cut off, will be obtained the one here. That is the output of the NAND gate. Okay. So I think clear. So <coughs> this diode actually filtering the noise, but low speed and power distribution are not emitted yet now. This Emitted in transistor transistor logic. Okay, so see here. <coughs> These are inputs A and B are inputs. This is the transistor and this is another transistor. Condition 0, 0, that means A and B both are 0. This is nothing but a diode, P and diode. And this is 0 means these are the forward bias. If these are forward bias, this is current flow to that one. There is a cut off. This is also cut off. Current must be flow. This that one. Any one is zero means this is active. Then both are cut off. Only when both are one, this is the reverse bias. Then this is active. Then this will be the active current flow through this that one. No current flow to this output. Then this will be zero. <coughs> so this is again a NAND gate again a NAND gate okay this is TTL now comes into MOS and CMOS MOS with metal oxide semiconductor three layers you already know about in this fifth chapter that is MOS CMOS already discussed there so this is the circuit symbol of PMOS this is the circuit symbol of NMOS you remember this table very important <coughs> when the voltage that is the input this channel voltage is zero then PMOS on but NMOS off and when this is high PMOS off NMOS low on, on. you need to remember this one <coughs> any line you remember opposite automatically remember it, right This PMOS as an inverter. Inverter means if input is 0, output 1, and if input is 1, output must be 0. You can see here <coughs> that is the when A is 0, when this A, this is the input, this is A, this is A. If A input A is 0, then 0 means PMOS on, but this is off. Since this is on, then current flow through that one will be get output here okay 
but <coughs> this is off condition that's mean the output also flow through the that's one because <coughs> you take output here in case of p was in case of n mos you take output here right so you can see that is <coughs> that is in the both case that when a0 output is 1 in the reverse one when this is high voltage this is off when this is off no output obtained from this point that's why this is 0 when this is on in the high this is on then current flow through the that one so output will be 0 so in both cases these are used as a inverter just the output point here is like here and Sai this is taken here. This is drain drain voltage VDD. This is VDD. Now comes into <coughs> CMOS as a inverter. If you look, <coughs> CMOS as a inverter. Uh, Complementary. Uh, this is actually combination of PMOS and NMOS. This is a PMOS and this is a NMOS. You know this uh, logic <coughs> that is when this is zero then PMOS on but this is off. When PMOS on this current flow that one so we will be get output. Next case when this is off this is on then what happened no current flow through this one and this voltage passes through that one. So we did not get output here. Okay. So I think clear PMOS, NMOS, CMOS three are act as a inverter that is 0 change into 1 and 1 change into 0. Next topic is the NAND and NOT circuit using MOS, MOS logic. Metal oxide semiconductor logic. You will <coughs> generate this is NAND and NOT circuit. <coughs> How? Here NAND gate using PMOS. This is the circuit symbol. These two are input. You can see when both are zero. <laughs> you remember when input is zero, the PMOS is on. So these two are on. When these two are on, we will be get output. If there is any one is zero, then this is on. Either this one on or this one on. This current flow, that one. If B is on, this current flow, that one will be get out. That's why these three are output. When these two are one, that is both are off, then no output reach here. In case of NOR, you can see these two are parallel and these are series. In case of NOR, if <laughs> anyone is, if both are on, if both are on, then only the output reach here. Otherwise, if anyone is off, because these are in the series condition, if anyone <laughs> is off within this condition if anyone is off condition then <coughs> if anyone is off condition if anyone in the off condition If <laughs> uh, uh, gate using PMOS. So PMOS. 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 So, in, uh, for NOR gate, these are in this series condition. So, if anyone is of condition, we did not output. That's why if anyone is of condition, we did not output. So, this is NOR circuit. Using NMOS, you also get NAND circuit in the reverse one. This is in parallel condition. This is in series condition. Okay. There is grounded here. Okay. <coughs> so, what happened?
these two in series condition so this is on uh, uh, nmos so in the off condition uh, in the high voltage if this is high voltage this will be the on okay and when these are the on current flow through that one no current flow that one actually there is a voltmeter here yeah. <coughs> if uh, is, is there is a voltmeter right so <coughs> if both are on if both are on then only we did not get output here that is this case okay otherwise if anyone is off condition if anyone is off condition then current must be flow through this voltmeter in the parallel case if anyone is on condition then we did not get output if anyone is on condition that you so it's no output but <coughs> when both are off condition then must be current flow through this output voltage next thing is the <coughs> nand gate using cmos this is a com uh, complete uh, combined of pmos and nmos these two are parallel and these two are series you can see when a <coughs> this is a this is a this is b this is b these are connected when a is on and b is a0 b0 that's mean pmos are on these two are on but these two are off because these two are on then output must be flow up to that one okay when <coughs> q1 is on then also output of 10 even q2 is on then also get output but when these two are off and these two are on so these are passes through that one <coughs> no voltage up obtained here that is the off condition clear so nand gate using cmos gives you like that Another thing is the this is the NAND gate using CMOS and this is the NOR gate using CMOS. So these two are input A and this is also A and this is B, this is B. These are PMOS and these two are NMOS. When these two are 0, A0, zero, B0, zero, so these are on condition and these two are off condition. Since this is our on condition, this voltage is obtained here this vdd voltage often here but when if anyone is off in this q1 and q2 if anyone is off then no output <laughs> here but this inputs actually bypasses through this one so that's why this is zero so this is the nor gate using cmos i think clear you just think about this principle you can easily find out and you i think you can write down the working principle this one uh, as a case a case b case c which are written here like that if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box in the next class we will be obtained in the upcoming session this is all about me and this is my contact detail you can connect with this telegram channel and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you will get the five series related videos from mathematics by this session if you learn something from this session share this video to your friends either he or she also get benefit from the video Subscribe this channel if you need this channel. Those already subscribed, thanks for subscribing. Press the bell icon to get notification of our video. So take care. We'll meet in the next video as soon as possible. Thank you.